Once upon a time, in a village called Omwago, existed a very big market called Ekobi, which is held in every four days of the week. Many people come from far away villages to sell their goods in a KOV market. There in the middle of the market lived a poor old woman who always come out every market days to beg. There in the same village lived a very popular family named the Udoku's family. They have two twin daughters called Titi and Ada. Both of them look very much alike because they are twins. Although Titi and Ada look very much alike, but the only difference is their characters. Titi, the junior one, has a very good character. She is very obedient, beautiful, respectful, and very humble. While Ada is a good girl, but sometimes she used to be rude, disobedient, insulting, and selfish. Every day, Titi and Ada help their mother by taking the things that they harvested from their farm to the markets such as okra vegetable and pineapple one day on their way to the market they met the old woman when the old woman saw them she said to them please my daughters give me pie i am starving mama said titi and she handed three large pears to the old woman get out of my way you miserable old woman must you always beg where are your children cried ada this word made the old woman very angry and then she decided to bless only titi and laid a curse on Ada. Ada, you shouldn't have spoken to the old woman like that. She is old enough to be our mother. Shut up your mouth, Titi. I am older than you. I know the best word to say. I know the right thing to do. Ada bragged, and the bots continued their journey to the market. Five years later, Titi and Ada were now grown up and were ready to be married. Not long after, suitors started flooding Udoko's compound. Surprisingly, all the suitors that were coming were only asking for Titi's hand in marriage and nobody ever looked or spoke to Ada. Titi insisted, No! Ada is my elder sister. She should get married first. I will wait for her. Titi waited so many years for a suitor to come for her sister, Ada, but none was forthcoming. Not because she is not beautiful, but because of the blessing that the woman did not give to her. Because on that day, the woman caused Ada without her knowledge and blessed only Titi. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, Titi could no longer wait for Ada as time was no longer on her side and she really needs to get married. Titi's wedding was the most talked about wedding ever in the history of the village including the neighboring villages but all through the wedding ceremony Ada was not happy because people were making mockery of her look at you you old lady your sister has gotten married 
Why you are still here? Titi gave birth to three children, two boys and one girl. God bless her family so, so much. Titi's husband became so rich that he built a very big mansion for Titi in the village. In as much as Titi and her husband were very rich, she was still very humble and respectful. While Ada was asleep, then suddenly she heard a voice saying, you are the cause of your problem. And when she tried to open her eyes, then she realized it was just a dream. She recalled the voice to be that of the old woman whom she have insulted in the past. So immediately she ran down to a cake market to look for the old woman. But she was told that the old woman has passed away. Ada went back home very sad. She was filled with grief and recalled all her wickedness and all she did during her younger days. But like they said, you cannot eat your cake and have it back. And you cannot turn back the hands of time. She recalled how rude she has been and how she has badmouthed other ladies who were not married as at when she was small. When Udoku and his wife died, Ada was then left alone in their old looking house. She remained in her father's house till this day and would sometimes be seen by strangers sitting in front of her father's compound alone and thinking about her life. The moral of this story is to tell you not to mock anyone and to show empathy to care for the older ones give whenever you are in the position to give because you don't know when you will be meeting an angel in disguise be respectful to the older people and never ever have pride there is a saying that goes this way as you lay your bed so you must lie on it